Hello, Aragoth here. Um, I reviewed this game back in January in beta. It has been in release for a couple months now, I believe. Um, and I've been playing it for probably about a month. I, I Yeah, the end of June, I was able to play enough to build up some cards and get myself into Silver League before the ladder reset. Um, right now, I am currently in Gold League. Uh, early gold league. Uh, it goes from bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Um, good old ranked play. Um, this is the deck that uh, going to be featuring today. Just going to do a quick showdown of it. It's it's the deck that has taken me from silver to gold. Uh, I used my library. Ariane deck, and uh, also my AP gain Venezuela to get up to silver, but I found that they really fell off against the competition, uh, so I started playing with this and tweaking it. Um, I've tweaked it even more just in the last couple of days since the new patch came out because there is a... Uh, particular card that I was running, this guy here, the Joger Shaman, that punishes Arianes, because hand size Arianes were just huge, and I really needed to counter them. But I've since really re removed blah, the Joger Shamans. Um, I might throw one back in because since I've removed it, I have seen one hand, Ariane. Um, but I think the deck keeps its aggressiveness even without it. Um, a lot of weapons and a lot of stuff that deals damage based on my weapon. Adding durability, fighting the opponent, a lot of battling. Um, a lot of gold gain is required. This is a very expensive deck to run. Um, but I've got like miners that reduce the cost of equipment. But then you'll see a lot of stuff again increasing durability, increasing durability so I can keep my big weapon active. And then, basically if it's not building my weapons or making my weapons cheaper, then the cards are damaging the opponent, like deal 8 damage to the rival, strike my rival, um, gold gain. This is a new card that I just just added. Um, just gonna see how it plays out. It's It's kinda like a heal. Plus, it gives me a ton more, a ton of gold, which is awesome, and it's not hard for me to get to ten attacks to one hit that card. Uh, this is another one that I tossed in at the same time when I pulled out the Joker Shamans. These are the two cards that replaced them. Um, Adamant Dragon, durability equal to rival's gold. That could potentially be my answer to having troubles with bashes. I might, I might even get rid of this Golem and throw in a second Dragon. Um, we'll see. And then the big dragon, the rune dragon, that card, I got one of them in a pack, and that's actually what made me build this deck. That's how it started, was I got this card and was like, oh my god, that's so strong. <laughs> like, yeah, he hits like a truck if you can't kill him fast. Se taking 7 damage when you only have 30 damage, that's huge. Um, but he gives you four weapon attack, removes eight health from next creature. So when you're running big creature decks, that's massive. Plus he gives four gold. Um, so very high risk, very high reward. So uh, that eight damn health that he removes from next creature could put this down to a five, this down to a two. I, I wouldn't want to use it in a flash mob. Puts him for free means I don't use durability. Him for free, I don't use durability. Like such a huge card. This this card created this deck for me uh, and I've been having an awesome time playing it. Um, I've made a lot of changes to it along the way. I, I A bunch of these cards I actually crafted for it. I turned on the show craftable cards for uh, Linza. I broke down a bunch of uh, diamond cards 
that I was hoping I won't find use for. Actually, it's funny because Redbeard Frank and Morina are two of the cards that I broke down. Um, Char and Death I broke down. Uh, they're both very very situational. You have to build the deck around them. Diamond cards. Diamonds are like your legendary cards, by the way. But, uh, yeah. So that's the deck. Let's, uh, let's see it in action. Oh, let's actually hit the right thing. Ranked face deck. So let's see who we get first. A raptor. Rank 14 raptor. Now raptors are who I have the most trouble with in this de with this deck. Um, and I seem to be seeing a lot more raptors up in these levels. So I need gold generation to be able to purchase that. I want to keep the barrel chest because once I do equip this, I need the barrel chest right away to maintain that longsword. And I got no gold. I got nothing to play at all. That is a terrible, terrible, terrible draw. Which is actually really hard to do with this deck. It it's like it knows that I'm recording. I was like, no, no, we're we're not gonna make a good show of things here. Well, maybe maybe this will show off the power of the deck by showing what can happen when you lose a chapter completely. Um, so for those that don't know, the way the game plays out is you're building your deck basically to fight against your own deck, but, well, I was going to go into what all the cards, but there's so many things the cards could do, um, but you're interacting with your cards, um, whether it's interacting with your cards to make your cards interact with the opponent. Um, Okay, that is a much better second round. That second chapter could just be our saving grace. As long as we don't see a bash early in this, we should be good. Is he an AP Raptor? 5 AP already. Okay, so this is going to put us at 4 durability. So we'll survive a bash, um, but I still want to be careful. Uh, he's got 3 gold now. I go first. Oh, perfect. I'm going to run that out to get some more durability. And then this, hoping that he doesn't spend but builds gold. Um, Actually, should I? Yeah, I should do it that way. So that's going to put me at 5 durability, 4, and then whatever I gain from that. Um, let's throw that out there as well. Oh, we just got a more durability with that. Now that's Nihil is a great card against. Uh, oh man, see that's huge. He's getting a ton of armor. <laughs> He's loving himself right now. See, this is why Raptors are so good against this deck. Oh man, he's hitting me with my own weapon. Crazy. Now, I'm busting through a ton of that uh, armor of his. So he's at 38. 
I can do 38 if I get two, my two abyssal strikes, or whatever the hell they're called, would be huge right now. Nope, I'm not gonna get them. I am going to lose. This will put me at 20, 28. I gotta take the risk. Yeah, I gotta take the risk. Frig. Yeah, giant weapon, but Raptors, like, how much damage did I do to him? He was at, like, 41 armor at one point. It's just... That's what they do. They tank damage, right? So I, I losing that chapter was crazy. I I think if I hadn't lost that chapter, I still I would have beat him. But you just that's such a bad draw. Rank thirty one gold. Another raptor. Yeah, I gotta do something more to combat these ra raptors because. I've got a card that removes armor. I may just have to do that because it's. Oh no 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 no! Oh, let's do this. This is actually an awesome starting hand. Let's do that. That that and that. This is a great first hand. I'm getting tons of gold. I'm getting my weapon early and cheap. It's another AP Raptor, maybe? Or is he just. I wonder what he's running. You know, we know we're going to see a pile of armor. So I took out the cards that counter Arianne's and possibly I'll just have to put in the cards to counter Raptors if Raptors are just this prevalent in the uh, gold rankings. I think 70% of the matches I've had have been against Raptors since I hit gold and I'm just not getting anywhere because I have about a probably about a 40% win per percentage against Raptors. Um, Pulverize will be huge for me. Do I want to run this out now? N uh, no, I, I don't know what he's going to get for gold. I don't want to waste that dragon. So we're, we're bash safe at the moment, which is really good. Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven weapon is huge. He 
is definitely an AP Raptor. It's not going armor. That's really big for me. Like, I don't want to see that big armor gain on a Raptor. So this this is a Raptor I should beat. Um, possibly in this chapter. Let's see what we get for a pull. Right now I would do 18, 12, I'd do 30 damage with a second Pulverize. I'm not going to get that. He does have that... So that'll use up 2, put me down to 3, 4, That'll put me down to three, down to two, down to one, and I pulverize. Let's just do, well no, because that's going to give me, let's do this. Let's see where that lands us. Um, hopefully he's not spending gold. Oh, I'm first anyways. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Pay attention, Mark. So I'm going to get four durability here massive. Now I am going to lose three weapon attack on that pulverize, which actually means I should have done them the opposite way around. That's dumb. Um, yeah, because I, I, I should have had, if I did this the other way around, I'd be doing three additional damage on that battle. Right. Um, he's so crazy low, and there's my pulverize. He's done. Um, yeah, he killed himself. Awesome. Right on. He was gonna die. Um, Anyways, unless he had a huge heal there, uh, he needed a huge heal for that final card, otherwise I was going to kill him on the very first play of the next round, so yeah, we beat a raptor because he wasn't an armor raptor. Um, do one more game, and then we'll call this video done. But yeah, you can see, let's just build up a big weapon hit the opponent in the face with it. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Um, and it, it seems like there's very few counters for it. Like the, the counters for it is heavy armor decks or just kill me faster than I can kill you. And I haven't run into too many decks that if both decks are running proper, that can kill me faster than I can kill them. Um, so we need a weapon here. Weapon, there we go. Perfect. We are going to do... I might actually remove this Ring of Charles. I find I'm not really using it. Like the miners are doing the job that that would do. I don't know. The Chaotic Longsword, I'm not sold on either. That two durability. It's kind of a pain to work around. I love the six damage. Um, but I can't think there's, there's... Well, what I really need is the uh, Tetsu Katana. I should, I should really just pay the 3,000 shards and craft that sword because I could replace Tetsu. It's two additional gold, but it's an 8-3 weapon. It's so sick. Like, I... 
because here I need one of my durability builders right off the bat. There we go. Um, yeah, so let's go barrel chest and cut it. And we have a dragon longsword for backup in case he runs a steel weapon. Which he does have the gold to do. Gotta be really careful against those hands. That weapon steel card is crazy. I maybe actually shouldn't have run barrel chest out yet because of the steel weapon, seeing that he has the 8 gold required. Because it's not like I need the barrel chest to kill the two things I have out there. Oh, there's another barrel chest, that's awesome. No stealing of weapons. Maybe he's a, a, a Ling's. Maybe he's going to be facing some damage here. Like go, trying to go to my face. But I say we don't let him do that. Um, So I'm going to use two attack there, put me at one, put me at three, put me at one. Well, I might kill him in this round anyways and it won't matter. I ha like If he doesn't heal, I've got the damage going out to kill him. He's going to take 16 on each of those battles. So he needs a huge amount of healing to survive. I'm going to deal 32 damage over these next two cards. And he's eating more damage. I'm going to kill him with the next... With the next oh no, he got some health there. Um, oh, he's killing kill himself with his own card. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, he was definitely playing a, a gold Ozan, which was... He was likely running the uh, card that spend all your gold, do that much damage to the opponent. Um, to just one-shot you. But uh, he probably wasn't expecting a deck that can kill him partway through Chapter 3. And that sometimes happens. But yeah, that's the deck. That's a little bit of Chronicle. Have a great day and happy gaming.